Hi everyone, welcome back to World Reads. My name is Dave. Today I've got a tag video for you. It seems a very, very long time since I've done a tag video, but this is, wait for it, the Booktuber Booktube tag. Roll the titles. Hi everyone, welcome back. As I said in the introduction, does this video look crooked? I'm just looking at the frame. This looks, looks a bit, we all look a bit pissed. Is it, are we crooked? Are we straight? Is that edge straight? Oh, oh sorry, people are gonna be feeling seasick watching this. There we go, does that look any better? Anyway. Welcome back. This is the Booktube Booktuber tag. Now, I have altered this tag slightly. I have taken artistic license, shall we say. Uh, this was a tag that I first saw over at Peter Mon's channel, Peter Likes Books. There is a channel called Peter Mon as well. He's got a few channels. He's a busy boy, that Peter. So I'm sure, I don't think Peter watches my channel anyway. But in the event that he does or someone tells him, I will link his original video down below. But yeah, some of the questions I, I, I've changed slightly. Here we go. This is the Booktube Booktuber tag. These are great. I've been looking forward to it. I've been thinking of my answers for this all day. I haven't done a tag for ages. So I was well overdue to do a tag. How are we all anyway? Is everyone all right? I've got a cup of tea in case I dry up halfway through. This is not a very... If, um, if Simon or Liv from the Book Nook or Sophie from Portal in the Pages is watching, this is not a very exciting mug. So you're gonna have to get your mug fix somewhere else because this isn't a very exciting mug. So, oh, excuse me, did I slurp? <laughs> so, question number one. What booktuber is so incredibly smart? This is an easy one for me because there's, um, as you know, I watch quite a few channels. I watch a lot of the British channels. I do watch some American channels as well because I love the American booktubers, but I do watch, being, being English, British, whatever you like I, do like, I do like our English booktubers. They offer something different. There's two for me and I cannot separate them. So it's either got to be, for me, and I'll tell you why, it's either got to be, for me, Lauren from Reads and Daydreams or Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. These two girls are incredibly smart and for one reason, they're wrap-ups. They talk about books in a way that I can only dream of. I'm gonna get back to my, 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 my pet peeve on Booktube is the way I do wrap-ups. I don't particularly enjoy it at the moment because I don't think I'm particularly good at it but hopefully I'm getting better. And by watching these two, I can only get better at doing the wrap ups. Uh, it's just a really, I just find it really, really difficult. And to them, they make it sound so easy. When I started Booktube, um, Lauren from Reads and Daydreams has done an excellent series on how to start a Booktube channel. And if you're out there, if you're watching this thinking of starting a Booktube channel, then you could do yourself a lot of favours and go to Lauren's series on how to make, uh, how to run a booktube channel and how to make videos and how to, she talks about wrapping books up and reviewing books online and she makes it sound so easy. And if you listen to her wrap ups or Mercedes wrap ups, they're just so good. I'm so envious of the way that they, they wrap, they just wrap books up and I know it's experience as well they've been doing it uh, they've been doing it a very long time uh, and these things take practice they're brilliant they're so so clever and they are they're, they're a pair of super super smart girls so the answer to question one what booktuber is so incredibly smart Lauren from Reads and Daydreams and the wonderful Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings Question number two, who would you have as your booktube sister? It's another Lauren. It's Lauren from Lauren and the Books, without a doubt. Lauren is so full of energy and it's brilliant at the moment because at the moment it's Vlogmas and Lauren's been uploading her videos. I get up at 6 a.m. and I'm showered and, and got my cup of tea ready for half six when I sit in me, in me green chair 
over there and have an hour just reading. It's like a golden hour of reading in the morning. And Lauren has been uploading her Vlogmas videos really early. So it's, it's um, and she's so bright and bubbly. Doesn't everyone love a sister like that? Wouldn't everyone love a sister that's so full of energy and bright, perky and, oh, she's brilliant. So Booktube sister, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Number three, Booktube brother. Now, I had to think about this. Booktube brother, it can only be, it can only be one man. Simon Savage from Savage Reads. He's a fair bit younger than me, so having a younger brother like Simon. So Simon would be my booktube brother, only because I've been watching I've been watching Simon since he's been on here, and I've been reading Simon's blog, uh, which is fantastic, for years and years and years, eight, nine years probably. I think I've said on booktube before, Simon was one of the inspirations. Simon, one of the main reasons I picked up a camera and started this channel. Top, top booktuber. Question number four. Who is the hardest working social media booktuber? Now, I had to think about this. There aren't many booktubers that I know or that aren't out there on social media. All of them, all the channels that I watch seem to have a social media presence as well across all the main platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter mainly. It's Russell. I think Russell from Ink and Paper Blog is the hardest working social media booktuber. Um, especially what he's been doing lately. He's been, he's, um, he, I, think, I think Russell's had a bit of a rebrand lately because he, he's redone the Ink and Paper blog logo and he, he's, he's put the logo on the, on the thumbnails. He's really good on Instagram, he's really good on Twitter and he's got, he's got a group on Goodreads. So yeah, Russell from Ink and Paper blog and Russell was a very early supporter of me and of Wild Reads back, back all those, all those, uh, months ago when I started, it's only four months ago, but Russell was a very early supporter um, uh, and I, I hope that I've thanked him enough. So Russell, the hardest working social media booktuber, goes to you. Uh, where are we? Okay, questions, have a cup of tea. If you wanna pause this and go and grab yourself a cup of tea, feel free, or gin, whatever takes your fancy. Guys, okay, question number five. Booktube, what booktubers party would you like to be invited to? And this for me is Jen Campbell. I'd love to, if a booktuber was having a party, any of them, and I wanted to go, it would be Jen Campbell's. Could you, could you imagine that the heavyweight literati that would be at one of Jen Campbell's parties? She, she knows so many writers and so many people in the industry. I think getting invited to one of Jen's parties would be an absolute hoot. The party, the, the booktuber's party that I was most liked to get invited to would be Jen's. And I've met, all, actually all my favourite booktubers I've met now, pretty much, with the exception of a couple. Question number six, booktuber to go to lunch with. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I don't know. Booktuber to go to lunch with. Obviously I haven't thought about this question as well as I should. Probably all of the, all of the above. <laughs> Uh, in fact, actually, actually pretty most of the above, I have been to lunch with, and it was fantastic. We had, um, we went to a ramen bar, which I've got to be honest, I wasn't really sure what a ramen bar was. But I was sitting next to Lauren from Lauren and the Books, and I was, I was looking at the menu, and I was a bit lost. And so she was pointing out a few things to me, and I ordered this, um, I think it was like a broth, like a chicken broth. Oh my God, was it hot. Oh, I was sweating. Oh, it was really hot. Really, really hot. Question number seven. Booktube best friend. Uh, Lindsay, I think. Lindsay from The Wandering Reader. Because I think we've got very, very similar taste in books. And every time I see Lindsay reviewing books or doing a wrap up, I've either, I've either read the book that she's talking about or it's on my TBR or it's on my I want to buy this book. So I think we've got very similar tastes. So, uh, and she's a great booktuber as well. She's coming up actually, I must remember. to. Con I must put something in my diary because on the 29th of December, I think Lindsay's been on booktube a year. So I must remember to, to, to congratulate her. In fact, I'll do it now. No, should I do it? No, it's far too early, far too early. So yes, Lindsay from The Wandering Reader would be, uh, and he's one of my booktube best friends. Question number eight. Booktubers to shout out. Now, I read this question as booktubers that have A, either just started or B, 
not been started very long and deserve a bigger audience. Now I can think of three immediately. One of them is getting a bigger audience now because she's been shouted out by a lot of big channels. Uh, and that is Liv from The Book Nook. And I've been watching Liv for a couple of months now. And she's, I, I shall link, everyone I've mentioned on, on this tag, I shall link down below in the show notes. But Liv from The Book Nook, she's very, very funny and always makes me smile. Uh, and she's a brilliant booktuber and she works in the industry as well. She's a bookseller for the big book chain, was well, the only book chain that's left in this country, which is, uh, which is Waterstones. And she's a bookseller for them and she does the podcast, uh, not the podcast, she does the, uh, is it a podcast? No, it isn't a podcast. It's like a, it's like a shop vlog thing and it's brilliant. And she's a very, very talented girl, great booktuber. So if you're not subscribed to Live from the Book Nook, please check out our channel. It's very, very good. And two others, one, I've been watching for a long time and he's been doing this for a long time and that's Charlie Heathcote and Charlie's been doing booktube for a while now and he so deserves a bigger audience because again he always makes me laugh and always makes me smile and he seems such a down-to-earth such a nice guy and he's a writer as well he's written two books so he's published two books that I haven't got round to reading yet I'm sorry Charlie I will get round to reading them in the new year. They are very high on my TBR and I will get round to reading them soon. I shall link to Charlie's channel down below. Charlie's doing Vlogmas as well. His videos are great and he, he deserves a, a bigger audience than he's got. So ch please check out Charlie's channel. And another one is uh, a guy that's really new. It's Brian from Brian's Bookshelves. Now I came across, because occasionally, about once a month, I just, I search all the new booktube newbie tags in search of more UK-based booktubers. And I came across Brian's booktube newbie tag a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and he's made about half a dozen videos now, and they're brilliant. Brian's booktube newbie tag is one of the best newbie tags I have seen. I can't remember if, whether it's the newbie tag or on one of his videos, Brian's um, a sort of am, am, dram, Shakespearean actor. He did this reading and I was captivated. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, and he's got, he's, check out this guy's voice. He's got the, one of the best voices on booktube and he could make audio. He, someone should sign him up and get him to do audio books because his voice is brilliant. It's what I call a, a Radio 4 voice. It's a BBC voice, it's brilliant. And his channel's really good and he seems like he's, he's he reads a lot of crime from the from the glory days of crime. So he reads a lot of Christie, Agatha Christie, uh, and he reads a lot of Colin Dexter and stuff like that. He's brilliant and I, I wish him all the best on Booktube. I think he will have a very, very big audience before long um, because I think people are gonna love what he does. That's about it from me. I've really enjoyed this tag. I haven't done a tag. I, th I think in the beginning I was doing too many tags so I sort of, I sort of stopped doing tags for a little while. But I really enjoyed that one, so I might do a few tags before the end of the year. I'll try not to squeeze in too many in a month because it gets. I haven't done the Mel Booktuber tag yet. Must get round to doing that one. There's a brilliant version of that on Steve Partridge's channel. Check out his Mel Booktuber tag. It's brilliant. There it was. There was. There was the. Um, that was the Booktube Booktuber tag, slightly borrowed and altered and rearranged from Peter Likes Books. Thank you, Peter, for coming up with a tag. Um, sorry I had to rearrange some of the questions, but there you go. But thank you anyway. I will link your original video down below. So thank you all for watching. As usual, whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books. And I will see you again on Sunday for another Booktube video. Take care. Bye-bye.